Hello everyone, this is Prashant from Polka.India and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll discuss a very important topic that is Substrate Framework. Let us first understand what is a framework. In computer programming, framework is a basic supporting structure on which you are building your software. It serves as a foundation so that you are not starting things from scratch. On Substrate Framework, we can build our own customized blockchains. And this framework is a very extensive, modular and open source framework to build blockchains. The beauty of this framework is that it makes very few assumptions as to how we have to design a blockchain and it has kept things as generic as possible. So as we are discussing about building blockchains, let us first list down all the core components that would be required when we are building a blockchain irrespective of what kind of blockchain we are building. So the very first core component is the database, second would be networking, third would be transaction queue, fourth would be consensus mechanism and fifth would be state transaction function that is called as runtime. So let us now discuss one by one how a substrate would be helping us in building these core components. So let us start one by one. The very first is database. When we talk about blockchain, we talk about database because in blockchain, we store data in a decentralized manner wherein a shared ledger is distributed across the network. So if you are building a blockchain, you would require a component to be designed so that it can handle the database mechanism. So with the help of Substrate Framework, you can design or build your database component with greater ease and flexibility. The only underlying database layer it uses is the key value storage and on top of it, Patricia Mungle tree is implemented. So the second is networking. When we talk about blockchain, we talk about distributed network. And this network is only possible if there is a communication between peers. With the help of Substrate, we can build this component. Substrate uses lib peer to peer peer to peer networking protocol. With the help of this networking layer, peer can communicate with each other, they can share details about blocks, about transactions and all other critical details which are necessary while communicating in this network. Third is transaction queue. When we talk about blockchain, blockchain is all about storing different transactions and forming blocks. But transaction queue plays an important role in deciding the final state of the ledger. So Substrate allows you to have full control while designing or creating the queue management system. The only thing it Substrate assumes that the transaction will have or the weight and pre-requested tags so that it can decide the dependency graphs. Fourth is consensus. When we talk about blockchain, any new change which has to be brought in a blockchain, it has to go through consensus. So consensus plays a very important role in building a blockchain. And Substrate can provide us multiple options to choose from to decide on consensus mechanism, like proof of work, authority, and we can even choose Polkadot's consensus mechanism for that matter. So now let us discuss the final one that is Substrate Runtime or State Transaction Function. So what is a State Transaction Function? State Transaction Function is the basic business logic of the chain on which the state changes whenever a new block is processed. And this Substrate Runtime is the most modular part of the Substrate Framework. In Substrate Runtime, there are different modules which you can choose from as per the requirement of your blockchain. If I talk about one of the examples that is Balances. Balances is the module which takes care of the currency in the blockchain. There are various other modules also that is Democracy, Election, having different functionalities. There is one more module called as Contracts. If you want to make your blockchain as a smart contract blockchain, you can use this module to convert it into a smart contract blockchain. So finally, let us discuss about forkless upgrade, a very important feature of Substrate Framework. When we talk about blockchain, forking has always been an issue. Why so? Because whenever there is an upgradation, it is very difficult to communicate it to all the nodes because they are present globally and there is no direct communication between the nodes. Now, what this feature includes is that why not to run the code, runtime code in the chain itself so that whenever there is upgradation and if the consensus allows, it should get executed on chain on all the nodes and that is done through WebAssembly. This runtime code is 
attached to the chain through a WebAssembly code so that it can be executed in the chain. And with the help of this, the forkless upgrade feature can be achieved in a blockchain. So Substrate is free and open source project and it is built on Rust programming language. So this is naturally the best option available to build your customized blockchain. I hope you would be enjoying building your blockchain on Substrate framework. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please do so in the comment section. Till then, bye.